we continue our conversations inside the Now Morning Show. This morning, we're going to have a little chat about ICT in education and exactly what that means. And Natasha, you have this one. I do, and I'm really excited because we have with us in studio this morning, Mr. Nigel Casimir. Mr. Casimir, good morning. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. to Glad the Now Morning Show. We're talking about ICT and education in a Caribbean forum, but also in a Caribbean context. Mm -hmm. and I think this is something that is long overdue because right now we see all over social media on all the platforms, everybody's talking about the metaverse, everybody wants to get involved, but most of us have no idea where to start. And I know that you're going to be having a webinar on that as well. So mm -hmm. really looking forward to that discussion. But before we go any further, I know also we're supposed to have Mr. Daring with us as well. He's the Chief Executive Officer of ReadyNet. Yes. I think he's going to be joining us virtually. Yes. Hasn't popped in yet, but when, mm -hmm. he, when he does, of course, he'll join the conversation. So Indeed. tell us a little bit about this entire project as a whole. Right. Well, actually, you say that um, it's, it's, it's a very topical mm -hmm. um, thing right now. But this ICT in education, we are actually following up on uh, an, a forum mm -hmm. that had been done as far back as 2012. Okay. Right? In this, um, this uh, event we are having this week, tomorrow and, and Thursday, uh, we've, we, this Caribbean Telecommunications Union, have partnered with uh, UNESCO, mm -hmm and the International Telecommunication Union, the ITU, to, to put this on. And back that 2012 event I mentioned was a UNESCO event uh, that was called uh, ICT in Education, a leader Leadership Forum. Okay, right? sounds fantastic. And, um, I just got a message that Chris is ready. Chris, ah. good morning. Good morning. Welcome yes. to the Now Morning Show. How are you today? Thank you. It's a little early. Um, you know, Trinidad, <laughs> is always before. Trinidad and Tobago are always before everybody. So I guess it's six, six, uh, 640 there. It's only 540. 540 in Jamaica. Wow. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you because this is a conversation <laughs> that we've all been looking forward to. And I know we all have a lot to learn. Indeed. So indeed. as you were saying. Yes. So I was saying, following up on that uh, forum that UNESCO had in, in, in 2012 on ICT and education, mm -hmm. what we'll, part of what we'll be doing uh, tomorrow and Thursday is following up on that. What are the things that have been achieved or have not been achieved? Because uh, COVID-19 has, of course, made uh, remote education, uh, you know, uh, uh, an essential thing now. Yes. Right. So um, we'll be follow up on that as well as some 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 other themes, uh, including um, uh, smart classrooms. And in fact, Chris is is smart class or connected classrooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris of, of ReadyNet is mm -hmm. a, a service provider in Jamaica who mm -hmm. has provided connectivity for. Uh, schools in rural Jamaica. Oh, nice. And we'll be doing a, a case study on that. Mm -hmm. uh, that that'll be on, on, on the Thursday morning, mm -hmm. for example. Um, there are also uh, some other things we'll be looking at. We'll be looking at the UNESCO, uh, what do you call it, competency, ICT competency framework, mm -hmm. ICT competency framework for teachers in particular, because coming out of the 2012 forum, it was noted that um, Capacity building for, for teachers was yeah. a, a key and very important part of delivering quality education online. Mm -hmm. So UNESCO has a forum, uh, uh, sorry, a framework on that, and we'll be we'll be having a session dealing dealing with uh, uh, dealing with that, and we'll also be dealing with the socio economic socio cultural impact mm -hmm. of remote learning. Um, we're going to have a clinical psychologist talking about, for example, the um, the impact on the students and and also also the teachers on of trying to navigate this new mode, mode. <laughs> you know, um, and, and we'll also be getting some experiences from uh, schools, mm -hmm. from students, from, print, from uh, parents as well, in terms of what the impact on it has been on them. So it's a, a, it's a quite a broad um, it, range of things that we'll be... It doing. is. You have that, that holistic approach down pat for something, of course, as technology. And, you know, we, we're getting to that stage now where we can use holistic and technology yes. in the same sentence, which is great. So, Indeed. Chris, you're here with us as well. And we really want to talk to you about taking part in the forum and, of course, ReadyStat and what you've done, so ReadyNet, rather, and what you've done so far. Could you share with us a little bit of the background and what it's been like in this new normal and creating new trends? Well, the, I, I think if there was one benefit that, that the COVID-19 pandemic brought, it was to really, truly expose the differences between rural uh, Caribbean, and in, in my case, rural Jamaica, and Kingston, per, per se. 
Um, you know, I had a forum down in an, an area first called Mullet Hall in Portland, which nobody has ever heard of. And what I did, I invited all the regulators, all the, the World Bank, the IDB, everybody down there to the launch of a trial of delivering satellite internet into these communities. And I had a, a, a grandmother of the community explain to the audience what her life experience is on something as simple as WhatsApp. Once a week, she would type up all her messages. Then she would grab a taxi, drive 30 minutes to the nearest point where she could get internet, send off her WhatsApp messages and receive her WhatsApp messages, and then drive up back up into the hills. So, you know, you know, everybody in the audience just kind of looked at each other because that certainly is not our experience in Kingston. You know, WhatsApp is, is, is you know, just par for the course. And, and here it is, somebody in the country, in rural Jamaica, which was probably only about an hour and a half away from Kingston. And she was using WhatsApp like old days telex, you know, like a <laughs> telegram. <Yeah. laughs> um, and I saw that everybody sort of looked at each other like, wow, there was really two totally different Jamaicas. So of course, by the time the pandemic hit, the rural schools, many of whom, you know, all of our communities in those mountains are built down in the valley. So it's not easy to reach. The rural schools were, were found totally wanting for internet connectivity. And one of the things, you know, we're very good for in the Caribbean is, is adaptation. You know, that's our form of innovation where we, 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 we you know, don't have the massive sums for R&D, but we can adapt. And we, we have a saying in Jamaica, Tonya Han make fashion, you know? And so we were called in by the ministry and the regulators and said, look, what can you do? We've seen the, the trial, what can you do now? And you know, we've been working with Biosat, one of the world's leading satellite operators. And immediately they jumped in and said, look, Chris, let's connect all the rural schools. So the government said, look, Chris, here's a hundred. How quickly can you do it? Um, at the time we were having torrential rainfall, uh, but we were able to do a hundred schools in 48 days, despite all the torrential rainfall. And in fact, it, it, would, it took us longer to get to some of these locations than to actually install internet. Now, the experience of those schools has been fantastic. You've, you've changed lives. You know, when you go to these schools now, you see these youngsters now um, getting tablets. Well, they, they used to get tablets, but had nothing to do with them except draw because there was no connectivity. Mm -hmm. So now they had their tablets, they're able to, to uh, log on and get online classes and so on, stay connected. But of course, once you've parachuted this internet into that school, uh, it's probably the only uh, true internet they have in that community. So the school becomes the hub of the entire community. So the community gets to use the, the internet in the night, uh, while the school uses up the, the bandwidth during the day. So it really has been a great experience. And you know we're, we're very happy that we were able to partner with Vasa to, to get this done. It sounds like a fantastic initiative and I think it's something you know you're bringing communities together mm -hmm. and I love the fact now as well as we talk about this webinar you know the Caribbean way of learning this metaverse you're mm -hmm. now bringing that the beauty of that technological development in Jamaica to us mm -hmm. as well so before we wrap because we have roughly about two minutes left <laughs> could we just maybe get a breakdown of exactly what we can look forward to at the webinar that's happening well, I mentioned the, the, mm -hmm. the case study for, uh, that, that uh, Chris has o given the overview of. But we also, as I mentioned, going to have also perspectives from mm -hmm. um, students mm -hmm. and uh, parents. So part of it is that we, we have uh, one of these, these, these schools here in Trinidad mm -hmm. who actually we think has done you know, a reasonably good job of using the technology and mm -hmm. delivering a, a quality standard of education. And they'll also be bringing some, um, some experience too and sharing uh, with, the, with the audience. Um, parents uh, from, from that school as well are mm -hmm. going to be talking. I mentioned the clinical psychologist, yes. right? So uh, this is one of the things that, you know, it's on the periphery, but it's there mm -hmm. impacting on the quality of the education that's, um, that's received and, and, and delivered. So as I said, so we will have these socio-cultural socio things. Mm -hmm. We'll also be looking at the sort of competency that teachers should have. Okay. So UNESCO is gonna have actually a, a presentation and participate in a discussion mm -hmm. about how do we bring our teachers up to speed mm -hmm. um, with, with, respect, with, with respect to that. 
um, uh, so that's you know, it, it, it gives you a, a sense. Yes. Wonderful. So I know as well, um, really looking at developing the skill set, I noticed as well some of the things that we talked about would be things like blockchain and NFTs, which has really skyrocketed, especially Actually, for the younger not, generation. Not the ICT in education. Uh, I should mention mm -hmm. um, that we have another forum on Monday yes. coming on the, on the 31st, which we call Traversing the Metaverse, the metaverse. Mm -hmm. right? Which is this new, well, it's an evolving concept. <laughs> it's an evolving concept where we, we are creating a virtual space mm -hmm. for people to interact in the real Correct. world, mm -hmm. right? And beyond just, say, a Zoom where you, you look at a screen kind of thing, it's, it tends to create a more immersive experience. Yes. And in fact, for our ICT and education seminar mm -hmm. and the Metaverse one as well, mm -hmm. we are using a, a, a conferencing platform yes. which enhances the services and experience mm -hmm. of, a, of a virtual event. So, you know, it, you, you get a, 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 a taste of what is, is intended to be in, in the metaverse. Uh, but the metaverse is, is a lot more. It includes things like virtual reality and, mm -hmm. and, and so on. Um, you, you talked about blockchain and so mm -hmm. on. The blockchain and, and those sorts of things are, are, you know, some of the technology behind it. It's mm -hmm. not really the experience mm -hmm. that, you, that you see up front. And who will be able to access these webinars? Well, anyone can, can register. Actually, mm -hmm. it's the CTU website, okay. ctu.int. Mm -hmm. It's quite simple. Um, once you go onto that CTU website, you will see banners for each of those um, events. You click mm -hmm. on the banner, you are able to register and so on. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be using, uh, uh, as I said, a conferencing platform mm -hmm. integrated with Zoom, but we'll also be having um, uh, streaming. So mm -hmm. um, you can, uh, you, you, anyone can, can participate uh, using the platform by registering on the CTU website, ctu.int. And in fact, it's quite popular. I think we have over 200 uh, registrants already for wow. the for the um, ICT in education and over 400 on, on the Metaverse one. Well, that's fantastic yeah. because ICT in education, a Caribbean forum, something we all need to know about and we need to continue to learn about. I know, you know, sometimes we tend to draw away from technology because it can be intimidating, yeah. but we are here now and this is the way forward. And of course, our children are the future. Indeed. And it's going to be fantastic to also see what ReadyNet has to offer, what they've done in Jamaica, what they're going to be able to explain to us here. And of course, you at the union as well, really bringing everybody together so that we can move forward. Yes, Mr. Indeed. Casimir, thank you so much for being with us on the Now Morning Show this morning. Um, are you still with us, Chris? Yes, I am. Oh, wonderful. Chris, is there anything in closing you'd like to say before we wrap this very exciting and forward-thinking interview? Well, I'd just like to say, I'm, I'm so glad I'm on television because one of the things that we, not, we must not do in the Caribbean is forget what got us here. Um, so I'm here on television. Television is one of the most basic forms of e-education. So we've also mm -hmm. launched television channels in Jamaica that are 24-7 uh, accessibility across the country where kids can watch their, get their classes live on, 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 on television. Uh, so what we're all excited about the metaverse, and I can tell you my own gift of an Oculus Quest. Um, well, you know, I, I play with it every day and I'm quite excited about the metaverse and virtual reality and so on. But let's not throw out the baby with the bathwater. People, people like TTT have an have a important role to play uh, in, the, in the world yeah. of technology. Indeed. Most definitely we do. And we're trying, well, I mean, let's, let's match. We see what's going on in Jamaica. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, you know on TTC, you have your educational segments as well. This is the place to be. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us on the Now Morning Show this morning. Looking forward to both of these webinars. I have to admit, I'm looking forward to learning about those non-fungible tokens because <laughs> they are taking the world by storm. Indeed.